What are your names? My name is Gretchen Saunders. I'm David Saunders. And what year and where were you born? I was born in Holland in 1946. And I was born in the middle of England in the year 1950. And what got you interested in unity and reconciliation within the Church Universal? Looking back, it was the influence of the organization Antioch Network, which George and Hannah Miley began many years ago. We, we joined this organization 10 years ago. And we saw for the first time what, um, what it means for people of different backgrounds, different um, denominations to come together and, and honor one another and serve one another. It was something attractive. And for me too, yes, mm -hmm. that was the beginning. I think. Mm. Yeah. And then what has been one of or a few of your most powerful memories of reconciliation, whether connected to Wittenberg or not? Well, it is, perhaps it is connected to Wittenberg, but we became, I became very much aware recently we were on a trip in Israel and there we saw a beautiful thing, the Messianic Jews reaching out to the Palestinian Christians or the Arab Christians and the other way around as well. And that really touched my heart because it became clear to us that only Jesus can do that. Mm. Uh, through Jesus, they could both come to the Father. Mm. <clears throat> I think uh, we were allowed to accompany George and Hannah Miley on their trip to the place where Hannah's parents were murdered. And uh, that was a, a journey of five, six days, and every day there was some new, um, what could we say, unfolding of this, uh, the, 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 the terror of, of what the parents must have gone through, and and yet the, the heart of Hannah, that she was just, she was full of peace and, and um, thankfulness to God. And I think we just, we saw what, what reconciliation, just dealing with the issues of the past when you do them before God, um, how beautiful it is. And you have been involved in reconciliation in many ways too, leading and initiating this. What has been some of those experiences? Well, we, most of our life we've had to do with people of different nations. We went, um, when we were still very young, uh, to Turkey and we were working among Turkish Muslim people. And, and over the years, the, the number of nations that we're involved in has increased. And uh, in, but every person we meet, every nation we come across, there are issues from the past, there are um, hostilities between the different peoples. And I think one of our greatest joys in recent years is to see people from, from Muslim background coming to Jesus and being able to be in the same room with people that they naturally would have hated. And yet something has changed in their hearts and, and we can have fellowship together. I think this inter, interracial form of reconciliation has become very important to us and, uh, and we're getting more and more involved in that you know refugees coming from all over the world to, mm. to our city now and most of them very very hurt and traumatized and they need people of peace to come come alongside them and help them work through these issues I would say the same yeah mm. that's beautiful mm. and then in your mind what does reconciliation within the body of Christ look like oh, beautiful I <laughs> Beautiful, but for me it's also what family is look like, that we listen to one another, that we appreciate one another and that we learn from one another. Mm. And we, we see that the walls have come down. We, we can see in the future a church without walls where all the, the, the hostility, the, the, the prejudices, the fears have been broken by, by the love of Jesus and the presence of the Holy Spirit that uh, we don't even notice what nation we come from mm. anymore. It's that, uh, that, that the genuineness of the fellowship together has overcome all these barriers of history. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs>